So you want to install Sky Factory 5 in 2025? Well, you have come to the right video. I'm gonna teach you how to install this mod pack. By the way, this is the real mod pack. It's black and white in the beginning. You have to unlock colors as you go. But let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Now, the first step to install a Sky Factory in 2025 is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. Now, before you go away, CurseForge is the launcher that is going to allow us to install a Sky Factory. And not just a Sky Factory 5, but any other Sky Factory or any other mod pack that you want. And I'm gonna make it super easy. Click that second link. This is our written guide. You can look at the screenshots and read through the text. But if you want to make it quick, go down to step one and click Curse Wars. That'll bring you over here where you could select your operating system if you scroll down. But in this video, I'm going to use the Windows one. So go ahead and click the download stand alone if you also have Windows. If not, just scroll down and download the other ones. Now, once we have Curse Wars downloaded, let's go ahead and drag and drop the installer into our desktop. This is the file that we will use to install Curse Wars super quick. What you want to do now is simply double click on the Curse Wars installer. You might get a little prompt saying, are you sure you want to allow this app to run? If you do, just go ahead and allow it. And then you'll get this screen in here. Where you could select the language, click next, select the installation folder. If it doesn't let you change it, you might have to launch it as an admin and then you'll be able to change it and then click accept and then hit next and wait for Curse Force to install. By the way, the mod pack that we're about to install is an offline mod pack, meaning that you're only allowed to play it on single player unless you create a server or let professionals do it for you. If you want to play Sky Factory with friends, use the first link in the description and create a server with Apex Sourcing. They actually support over 200 mod packs that you could install with just a click of a button. They have locations all around the world, so you or your friends don't have to worry about lagging. And if you don't believe how easy it is to create a server, just click on that first link to make sure you lock in that 25% off, click get started, and then over here, select like whatever amount of RAM you want to use for your server. Usually I go for with six gigabytes of RAM because I have a couple of friends join, you know, and we want to make sure that we can handle all those mods that we're going to be running in our mod pack and then hit order now. And then here, just select the server version or the mod pack that you want to use. In this case, a Sky Factory and then select a Sky Factory 5. As you can see, it is right here. Once you click on that, you're going to select your location and stuff like that. Hit continue one more time over here. Give it a second for you to load everything up. And all you have to do now is finish up, create your account, and you have a server login that you could just join super quick through the game. Now, once Curse Wars installs, it's going to open right away. It's going to open automatically, but it's not going to look like mine. It's actually going to give you a little intro that you could just skip. You don't have to look through that tutorial. You don't have to watch that video. You could just skip that, okay? Now, if Curse Wars doesn't open automatically, you could always open it yourself through the desktop, right? Now, once you skip that intro, you're gonna be here on this screen and you're obviously going to select Minecraft. Once you select Minecraft, then you're gonna be moved over here. You probably won't have any mod pack. As you can see, these are my mod packs that I already installed. You won't have any in here. What you have to do actually is head over to the browse tab over here and then just type a Sky Factory here on the top on the search for mod packs tab. So Sky Factory, type it all together and then just hit enter and then a Sky Factory will come up. Just look for a Sky Factory number five. Just make sure it's made by this person in here. If you're not sure, just click on their name and make sure they're the ones that created a Sky Factory, okay? Now, once you find a Sky Factory 5 in there, just go ahead and hit install over here on the right and pay attention to the next part because it's actually pretty important to getting a Sky Factory 5 working. Now, if you wanna play Sky Factory 5, anytime that you wanna play the mod pack, you're gonna have to open Curse Force. You're not gonna be able to just open your regular Minecraft launcher and open a Sky Factory 5. You're gonna have to open Curse Force and then you're gonna see the mod pack here on my mod packs section under Minecraft. You will see it right here. As you can see, it's installing right now. We're not able to play it. But once it finishes installing, we'll be able to play it. Now, once the Sky Factory 5 installs, we'll sit in here. And like I said earlier, we'll be able to just play it from here. Go ahead and click on it. And now, guys, this part is really important. Once you hit play, a Minecraft launcher will open and it will have you log in. Even though it's just a regular Minecraft launcher, it's a different instance, which is open through CurseForge. That is why it's having you log in again. You just have to use your account where you own Minecraft to log in. It has to be the same account where you regularly play from. This is the official Minecraft launcher, by the way. You don't have to worry about anything. As you can see, I put my account in here. This is just open through a different instance. That's why it's having you log in one more time. But once you log in just once, you don't have to log in again, ever again. Anytime you open a mod pack through CurseForge, you will be logged in already. Now, once in here, you will see that Sky Factory is actually selected already in here and you could hit play, but also if you head over to installations and you click on these three dots next to a Sky Factory, then hit edit and then more options, you could actually change the RAM amount that you're allowing your mod pack to use. This is very important in case you see any lagging, any bad performance issues. You could always come in here and change this number. Every 1000 is roughly equal to one gigabyte of RAM. So right now I have 4096 megabytes, which are equal to four gigabytes of RAM. Of course, if I change this number to eight, for example, that is roughly around eight gigabytes of RAM. All you have to do then is hit save down here on the bottom left and then hit play on your mod pack. If you don't know what this is in here, you could just read more about play safety features and then click understand the risk and hit play one more time and play your Sky Factory 5 mod pack. Now, if in this moment you get a Java error or a negative one error or a one error code, just install Java 21. I'm going to leave this guide in the description in case you had issues 
when opening a mod pack, you need to update Java in your computer to Java 21 to be able to play most modern mod packs, including Sky Factory 5. So I'm gonna leave that link in the description in case your game crashes right here. And there we go, guys. After a couple seconds, we got a Sky Factory 5 loaded in here. Let's go ahead and hit continue here. And this is actually a pretty cool menu they have in here. I assume this actually requires a bit of RAM for your mod pack to run without any issues. Let's go ahead and test this out. We're gonna test it on a single player world because again, if you wanna play this multiplayer, just use that first link in the description and create a server with Apex hosting. It takes less than five minutes. Now, here we are in a Sky Factory 5. And no, this is not a glitch. This is how the game looks. And as you progress, you will actually start getting colors in your world, guys. This is the new Sky Factory mod pack. And now it's time for you to start enjoying this mod pack. I hope this video helped you all. If you were able to install Sky Factory 5, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye bye.